Okay, so episode four of Slasher Flesh and Blood dropped tonight. Uh, let's get into this episode. I'm covering this show weekly as um, each episode drops. I will be reviewing them individually on my channel. Um, I've reviewed the past three episodes if you want to go check them out. Um, and I'm going to do something a little differently with this review. I'm going to keep this review strictly non-spoilers because there is a lot of information that this episode does give you about certain things that I'm going to keep brief in this review because um, I feel like it's something that this show has hinted at um, with the whole family drama that is going on in this show and with and there's certain reveals uh, that unfold in this episode that have been briefly hinted and sometimes seen um, in, in flashbacks in the past episodes. And so yeah, all of that, I'm going to keep it very brief in this episode. Um, but yeah, just go watch the episode and you will know what I mean. But yeah, make sure that you've seen the first, um, the first three episodes. Because otherwise, um, like I don't know why you wouldn't watch the first three episodes before watching the fourth. But um, yeah, it, it, just, it wouldn't make much sense. But if you've been following it, you know, like in order, like in order of these shows, so if you've seen episode one, two, and three, um, episode yeah, four, everything that it's telling you, it will make sense. Um, and so, um, okay, I've, I've written down some notes because um, this is a very big episode when it comes to, as I said, the information that it tells you. And I haven't, for the past uh, three episodes, I haven't taken notes down. That's all been off memory. But for this episode, there was just so much that this episode told you that I kind of had to, that I kind of had to take notes down. Um, but yeah, this episode opens like opens. Um, it has a really cool opening. It has a very different opening to the past three episodes. Um, because, uh, like, 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 a minor spoiler here, well, it is a kind of, like, I guess, a, a major spoiler of a, you know, of what happens to a certain character. But, yeah, um, yeah, I guess just a quick uh, spoiler tag here, because, because uh, I think I did say this in my previous, in my previous review, and, um, episode 3 did come out last week and all that, so, um, I'll, I'll put just a minor spoiler tag here, because I will be getting into spoilers for the past three episodes in order to explain certain things, all right? So here we go. And so in the past episode, um, in the last maybe minute, we saw, uh, we saw Simas. Uh, we saw, we saw him die. He got, he got poked through the, through the eye and that was a really gnarly looking death. And then this episode opens up with, uh, with Simas, uh, hanging on the wall and he, and his guts, uh, like, are hanging out. And there's amazing prosthetics and makeup. Um, like on that scene, it's such like a creative looking scene as well. It's just it's such a creative looking set piece um, for it. And um, the reason why I say this this opening scene surprised me was because usually the characters. Um, investigate what happened. It's not usually in plain view like it is at the beginning of this. Because literally, what happens is the character walks into the room and sees and sees his dead body. You know, like like hanged up on the wall, well pinned up against the wall, should I say? Um, but yeah, I uh, thought this this episode opened in a really cool way, in a really creative way, in a very in a vi visually um, in a very visually. Like in a very visually appealing way, I guess I would say. Um, and this episode also tells you why this family hates each other. Going back to the first episode where everyone is waiting on the dock bay, uh, waiting for the boat, and like no one's talking to each other, and it's been like you know like thirty or so years since I've actually seen each other. So you thought you know like they would be like catching up and just like how has life been for the past you know however many years and all that. Um, but there was one specific line of dialogue in that first episode that was like, like, uh, what, what, did, what did he say? He was like, we don't talk about that or we don't talk to them because of this. And this episode um, explores more of more of that hate relationship with everybody and why, um, like in the past episodes, whenever 
um, um, whenever everybody's in the same room as each other, you know, like there's always an argument that bursts out. Everybody's always yelling and shouting and trying to stab each other um, and, and all that. And yeah, this episode um, goes more goes more in, into why and what's happened in the past. Um, there's one scene in this, uh, which I won't get too much into, but the, uh, it's uh, dealing with it's dealing with uh, that's dealing with kids and having to be tied up to a tree. Just to put it into brief information, um, there's a flashback. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say. But yeah, if if that happened, um, like I can fully understand why the mum, why the mum, uh, why the mum, why the child's mum would be like fucking pissed off, like at the dad of the children responsible for this. Like fully, I fully understand. I mean, um, the the way these the, the way these these kids are brought up. I mean, to actually do that and to actually watch that and just even have the mindset to do it, like, is so fucked up. Um, so, yeah, like, I can fully understand that hate relationship uh, between, uh, what, what, what's the name? I hate it with Daniel. Uh, Baguette, uh, Baguette, or Baguette. I don't know how to say the name. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Uh, correct, sorry. Um... But yeah, uh, yeah, something yeah happens with her, with her child, um, and yeah, that's what I'll say there. Um, you also can I say that? There's also another scene uh, later on, which this is when the episode really ramps up and, and really starts to get interesting because the first fifty minutes of this episode, like to be honest, was was a little boring actually there's not a whole lot that happens it's not until the middle part where i was just like okay you have my interest now um and it has to do with and it has to do with vincent um if you've seen the episode um already um you will know what i'm talking about when i say vincent um but to put into brief words it's been briefly I'm trying to figure out if I can say this. It's been briefly described in the past episodes, and we get a definitive answer to it here. I'll put it that way. Um, and and then this this episode has this. There is no body count in this, like at all. Um, I feel like in the next episode it will start off w with a kill just due to how this episode ends. And I can see next episode picking up or um, picking up like seconds after it or we'll even see the aftermath. But this episode as a whole, like I really enjoy it. I think this is definitely a lot better than the third episode, which I wasn't a big fan of the direction in the third episode. I found like too many scenes were, were just overly dramatic and when it didn't need to be. But this episode kind of takes it back to what to what I liked about the first two episodes, where it's more character driven, it's more character based, um, and it's kind of more realistic in its facts, which you know, which I really liked about this episode. Um, and there's no like overly dramatic like kitchen fight scene. Um, like it's more of what I liked about the first two episodes, which is why I like this episode a lot more. So yeah. Anyways, yeah, guys, yeah, they are my thoughts on uh, on episode four of Slash of Flesh and Blood. Um, like, I still have a feeling Vincent is a killer. Like, hands down, the way he's acting in this, I mean, he is a hundred percent the killer. No one's set up to be the suspect here. Like, at, at this point, like, so you, no one doesn't have a killer sense to them. But my money's on Vincent. Like, I still. Feel like he gives off like the most creepiest vibes like out of everybody see how this show turns out but yeah my money is on vincent i feel like um when it comes to the killer reveal in the uh, eighth episode because i believe this series is only eight episodes long like i have money that he's a killer like for sure 
So anyways, guys, yeah, let me know your predictions. Like, I'm curious to know what, uh, what you guys think on who you think the, uh, the end killer will be in the final episode. Do you have any predictions yet? And what did you think of episode 4 of Slasher, Flash and Blood? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. So anyways, guys, I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night, or wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.